Hi, my name is James Stafford. I'm going to walk you through how to build a website with an open source platform known as WordPress. What that means is WordPress is free. You just pay a very small fee for hosting your site. So you get tremendous value for the actual price that you pay. And we'll cover that a little bit later. WordPress is completely customizable. There's thousands of free themes and plugins to choose from at your disposal. So if you're looking to build a e-commerce website or something for your local business or a hobby site there's more than enough options out there to choose from it's super easy to work with really anybody can do this there's a little bit of a learning curve but if you really need to drill down and further educate yourself there's plenty of resources available at uh, YouTube for example uh, let's go here like I said it's uh, a little bit more about WordPress it's it's free the ease of use I can't stress that enough many users in many places. There's more than enough available resources online to find out anything about uh, WordPress. And you're not limited by software. You can access your site or build your site anywhere. So that's pretty cool. There's thousands of, uh, like I said, thousands of free themes and plugins to choose from to customize these sites to your liking. And if you're into SEO or search engine optimization, WordPress really comes out of the box ready to go. It's a, a couple tweaks and um, you're off. And these search engines like Google and uh, Yahoo Bing, they, they absolutely uh, love WordPress. So if that's your, uh, if you, you choose this as your option, this is uh, for SEO, this is definitely uh, the way to go. HostGator. Uh, HostGator offers, I, I can't recommend these guys enough. I've been working with them for over the last five years with my business and the, the, 20, the, the customer support at any time really with regard to WordPress is superb and they'll answer any question if you're a newbie or you know you're more advanced these guys have it pretty uh, pretty dialed in in terms of uh, their education and knowing what to do when it comes to challenges with these sites uh, there's unlimited with the package I'm actually referring to unlimited domains uh, available to so you can build several different sites uh, there's automated backups of your website weekly, so if one of your sites crashes, uh, you'll have a backup ready to go. Uh, and also, I can't stress this enough, uh, with help with any questions you may have, uh, these guys have been just top-notch when it comes to that. And um, I, yeah, I, just, I really can't recommend uh, these guys enough. They've been uh, superb over the last uh, you know, five years or so working with me. And uh, you know, if you choose to work with WordPress, I, w I highly recommend going with HostGator. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video right now, and I'm going to, in the next 10 minutes or so, I step you through how to set up hosting with HostGator and build a WordPress website for you in about 10 minutes. So I will see you there momentarily. Okay, guys, I'm back. We're over here at HostGator now, and if you click the link below, you will actually save 25% off your entire order. So if you choose to do that, you'll end up at this page right here where you will uh, want to click View Web Hosting Plans. Okay, and in the next 10 minutes or so, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up hosting and show you how easy it is to completely install WordPress and at least you'll have something to work with um, going forward uh, a WordPress website. Um, okay, so what we'll do here is we want to click the baby plan. I always go with this because the value, you get unlimited domains and you could add to that at any time. So let's click order now. And you're going to want to take note here because this is something where, um, and I've already gone through this process so I don't get tied up, but this is where you're going to pick your website name, or which is known as your domain name. And I at first I chose fitnesschoice.com. That was not available. The .net or .org was not available. So I went and really kind of drilled down and went to fitnesschoices.com. That was not available. I went to fitnesschoices.net or .org and that, those were available. So let's see, continue to step two. And this is next, your next page is your billing information. This is all very straightforward. We've all seen this. Um, you can click credit card or PayPal. I'm going to choose PayPal. Uh, so I'm going to fill out my, uh, my, detail, my personal details here. I'm going to pause the video. And what we're waiting for is a welcome email from HostGator. And that usually takes about 10 minutes to get or so. And that way we can set up our site with uh, with our, our WordPress site. So once I get that email, I will uh, resume uh, with the video. So I'll be back in a moment. I'm back. We received the email 
here. This is, says, hello, James Stafford. Thank you for your order with HostGator.com. Here is the link we're going to uh, click to access our cPanel. That's where we're going to build our WordPress site. This is very basic, very easy to do. That's all you're going to do is copy your password to log into your cPanel and remember your username. So we're going to click that, Josh, and log in. Now don't let this overwhelm you. These are just tools that are available at your disposal if you ever want to, uh, if you choose to do so. All you have to be concerned with is one thing to get started. And that is Fantastico Deluxe down here under Software and Services, this smiley face. Just remember that. It's that easy. In the last five years of building sites, I think I've accessed maybe one other tool. It was the email one inside cPanel. So none of that stuff is really, really relevant at this time, or at least getting started with your WordPress site. So we're looking for your WordPress um, down here in the, the navigation. So we're going to click WordPress. We're going to do New Installation. FitnessChoices.net, that was our domain name, our website name. Okay, this is our admin. This is what we're going to um, take note of to log in to our WordPress site. So I'm going to choose admin. And our password, okay, here we go. Um, this is the email that you're going to, if you say, for example, you want to change your password or you lose it or you forget it, uh, put in a good email address here, okay? Um, the site name and a description of the site. I'm just going to install the site in the interest of time. Finish the installation. That's it. And this link right here, we can access our, our site to log into it. So it was admin, and then it was login. Okay, guys, so we're in. And this is our WordPress dashboard. Okay, look, and here's what the site looks like. I'll open this open link. This is out of the box. This is it, fitnesschoices.net. Hello world, this is our post page, okay? And I'm going to make a couple edits to this to where you can see um, what we're going to do just to get started. I have a couple of articles here. What I'm going to do is just go to add a new page, okay? All easy to do. So I have an article right here improved health through a lifestyle change so copy it's just this easy copy paste it in let's do this publish that now we're gonna go down here because if we if we access the site you're going to see it's just a, it says hello world right here because right now it's looking at it's set by default for your posts not pages okay for the home page so we're going to change that because I like to have a static page for my home page which means is one page will always remain on the at the, at the, the site at the, the home page of the site excuse me so we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to reading and we're just going to click static page and here we go. Improved health. And that's it. Just that simple. Save changes. There we go. That easy. Okay. Uh, let's see here. If I want to add a, let's say for example, I wanted to add a blog to the site. Just do this real quick. We go back to pages. Add a new. Just type in blog. For the, the page name. Okay. Publish. And this is actually going to populate all of our posts under this page. I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but you'll see what I mean right here. Settings. Go back to this reading right where we, where we were. And this second option right here, it says post pages. We just go to blog. So any post that we add it's going to show up under this blog page. So save changes, and you'll see what you saw initially. You see, hello world. There's their home page. Now, last thing I'm going to show you is how to install a new theme. Themes. Here we go. Um, and let's see, install themes. As you can see, there's several options here. Uh, you can do recently uploaded, 
and pick one of these or search for them. I'm going to upload a new one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I searched for one earlier and I typed in free um, health blogs and a free WordPress health. Here it was right here. And we got all these. This was 25 free health and fitness care WordPress themes. You can do this for really any category. It's unbelievable how many are available. I went and, I went and downloaded this one. Um, you just download that and that's it. And all you do is you get a file and I'm going to show you right here. You go back to uh, okay, uh, browse and are going to our downloads. Downloads. And here it was. That was the name of the theme. You up, open that. Install. Activate theme. There's our new theme. It's that easy. And you can make some edits right here, which is you know simple. Those were things that um, you can just edit in here. Take out some stuff. You can add a new video. All this stuff is really easy. Um, when you get down to these specifics, uh, there's usually information that's provided, um, or there's plenty of you know further. Uh, excuse me, plenty of available information on YouTube uh, regarding you know different things that you can do with WordPress. That's the beauty of it. There's so much information out there. So um, all very very basic and easy to do. Okay, and really to uh, let's see here. I think that's about it for now, just in the interest of time. But you get the idea. I mean, it's a very powerful WordPress, thousands of themes and plugins to customize uh, your site. It's really the best free open source platform available um, when it comes to building websites. It's fast, it's efficient, and it's effective. So having said that, I'm going to recap what you need to do to get started. And let's go back to, uh, where's the PowerPoint here? The only cost that you're going to incur, really, is uh, with HostGator. And you saw the price of that earlier, the 24-hour customer support. You have the backup once a week. Any questions, especially with WordPress, they'll be able to address. Um, very easy. And visit this link right here. Or click the link below the video. You'll save 25% off your um, entire order. So it's a uh, pretty good value. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found value in it. Um, it's been a pleasure, and I hope you see, you know, the success that I have over the years. So thanks for your time. Bye-bye.